Alright, well here is the first part of our new battery installation. Went ahead and uh, bit the bullet and ordered 600 amp hours of lithium ion batteries from a company called NextGen. And they're actually up in uh, just outside of Charlotte and they have a warehouse in Tampa. And they had everything in stock. I got six 100 amp hour batteries. Probably could have done it a little differently, but these will fit supposedly exactly the same shape as my existing four and I'll get two more hopefully will be in the mail tomorrow so that's a excellent uh, service that they uh, got the order just last Friday really and the batteries are here today so I'm gonna open one up and see how they're packaged and see if there's anything in there for uh, instructions or best practices Three pieces of good foam on each side. Pretty well packed. There we have it, the next gen lithium ion battery. So it looks like we've got some battery posts. That's good. And I was gonna check and see what size these are and how these were set. So it's a battery post that screws into the top. Because I do need to get some cables. Looks like a flat washer. And a split washer so I'll need to figure out what size this battery post is I might just take it with me to the store and uh, make sure I get cables that will fit on this and it looks I'll take the other one off and they are exactly the same size so we'll make sure we get battery, cables to replace all the existing cables. But just to show you how light it is, I think it's about 30 some pounds, 32 pounds. Just lift it up, turn it around. All right, we'll check the charge on it and see what it's at. Welcome back. Went down to get a voltmeter so I could test it, see what the batteries are sitting at. And we'll just stick one on the negative, one on the positive. And we are sitting right at 13, right at 13 volts. 13 0, 13 1. That's good. We'll see how the others match up and hopefully they're all about the same. Alright, so a little update. We've got four of the batteries in and opened up. I'm just going to check the voltage on each one of them. And hopefully they're all roughly the same. But we shall see. Beautiful. All four of them are exactly the same. 
So they're nice and balanced already. Shouldn't need to do anything. And uh, we're gonna assume that the second set of batteries that's gonna get in tomorrow, the last two, should be the same as these. And uh, we need to measure and see on my diagram of how I'm gonna wire them up. The two new ones that are being added are gonna go on a shelf below the existing one. Get them in parallel, going to go negative to negative, positive to positive, and these have two of the connectors that are going to come up to the second bank. So I just need a battery cable there, battery cable there, and battery cables that come up. And then I'll also check the battery cable size for those bolts. All right, it's nice and early morning, and today we're going to get these batteries installed. We're gonna pull out the old ones, put in the new ones, and get everything wired up. And hopefully everything will be just perfect and we'll have all sorts of new capacity. The first thing we're gonna do is make room, make a spot for the two additional batteries which are gonna go on a lower shelf. So I've got a couple eye bolts. I'm gonna drill two holes in a shelf. I'm gonna put these two batteries basically like they are down the shelf and then I'm going to put a ratchet strap over the top of the two make sure they're held down good and then I'll join those two with some two new cables in parallel down on on each of them and then those two longer cables are to connect between the positive and negative from the two batteries there up to the bank that's up on top of them which is the existing bank so first things first, we got to get this new spot set up and ready for the new, two new batteries. And then we're going to be shutting down all the power on the boat so we can uh, go through and get the other batteries out and the new ones put in. That's today's project. Alright, this might be a little bit hard to see, but down here in the engine compartment, I've got my two holes drilled and I've got my two eye bolts installed. And those are going to hold down the new batteries. So those are in place, and I'm going to pull the batteries now into place and connect them up with the cables, put those two in parallel, and be ready to then move along the task, shutting down all the power to the boat and getting all of this out and then back together again. Alright, just another little update, I've got my two new batteries in the their spots strapped down and tied together in parallel. So we'll test the voltage just to make sure that I got it right. And those are ready to be connected to the main bank once I get the main bank out and replaced. But we're going to test the voltage and then we're going to go shut down power on the boat and turn off all the breakers I can find. See you later. The old battery's out. Things, nothing sparked, so everything is off. And now it's a matter of just putting the new ones back in and getting things wired back up. Woohoo! All right, here is the near final product. Got the new batteries in, all wired up. Tried to do it all negatives and all positive. This was my main coming in on the positive side. A little spark when I connected it, but that was the last connection. So everything's up and running. I'm gonna turn on some breakers and make sure that the power works and uh, nothing uh, sparks or anything like that and then I'll strap down the cables tight tighten them all up so nothing can uh, move or break free at all and I'll tidy up these uh, extra cables that I've got but we'll see what happens